Hey, it's Brian Van from Sport by Track Gear, sportbytrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on the Icon Alliance SSR helmet. The graphic I have here with me right now is a brand new release. This is the Represent. Let's give you guys a nice 360. It's a good looking helmet. I actually have every intention of rocking one of these myself. The one I'm holding in my hand is the Represent Detroit. This is available for a few different cities, okay? Detroit being one of them. We're in Michigan. Detroit makes a lot of sense. We've got New York. We've got Philly. We've got NorCal. We've got Southern Cal. We've got the Dirty South. And then, of course, the Represent Icon, where here, instead of the city name, it'll just say Icon, okay? So that'll work well for everybody. The Alliance SSR has underwent another change for the end of 2009, and that is, is now a world spec helmet. This helmet passes the DOT standard in the United States, it passes the ECE 2205 standard in Europe, it passes the Australian and the Japanese standard. This helmet can be ridden basically in any country in the world right now. By bringing the best of all those standards together, I believe Icon has also produced a very safe helmet. Okay? Even this SSR that sells at an affordable price, something I believe anyone can afford to purchase, this is a very safe helmet. They have the airframe, which is a step above this, okay, and significantly more expensive. End of the day, this helmet is every bit as safe as the airframe. A few more bells and whistles with the airframe and perhaps a little bit more airflow, okay? But still, at the end of the day, the reason you wear a helmet is to protect yourself. This one is every bit as capable of doing that as their upper end airframe. Let's focus a little bit now on the features and benefits of the Alliance SSR. The size I have in my hands right now is a medium. We weighed it on our digital shipping scale today. It came in at a tidy 3.6 pounds. I would compare that to some upper end awry helmets that weigh in that neighborhood and slightly more. So the weight is good. It's low. It's everything that it should be. The comfort factor of this helmet is surprisingly fantastic. I like the shape of the shell. I find it to be a nice intermediate oval. What that means to you is it's going to fit most everyone well. Okay. I do find they run a little bit to the big side, so bear that in mind when you're using the size chart. For myself, I had to go with a small in this, okay? I am normally a medium across the board. When I use a helmet size chart, okay, I measure it 58 centimeters, which is the end of the medium scale, right? So medium works well for me in almost everything out there. This one, I had to wear a small to get the fit I like. I do personally prefer a snug fitting helmet. A helmet, when you have it on your head, should be good and tight without being painful because remember, the liner and the EPS in the helmet are both going to break in. Okay, so if you get a helmet that you're like, when it's brand new, you're like, I think this could be a little bit loose, but it'll be okay. No, it won't be okay because when it breaks in, it's going to be too loose. It'll end up being too big. That'll reduce its performance. Okay, lots of additional air noise, become uncomfortable. In the event of a wreck, a helmet that's too big simply cannot do the job as effectively as a helmet that fits properly. So there's our note on size. Now let's focus on the features and benefits. We have an air intake for ventilation here in the chin. It can be tuned. A couple of different detents there and turned on or off. That'll also help demist the fog-free shield. Diffuser on top of the helmet. Once again, multiple detents. You can turn this on and off. Brings the air in through the diffuser. We have extractor vents here under the diffuser, and then another one to bring the warm air out here on the top of the shell. We have some Venturi vents here in the chin bar. Those can be controlled. going to be kind of hard to see right now, but there's a couple of little vents on the inside that you can turn on or off to control that. And we do have a little exhaust here through the back of the EPS as well. To remove the fog-free fog shield, on the SSR, all you have to do, Jeff, if you want to zero in right here, please, it's got like a little trigger. You just pull forward, releases easily, okay? Repeat that on the other side, simply a mirror image, releases, off it comes. Let's focus for just a moment, Jeff, on that mechanism so they can see how it works, okay? Back is the lock position. Pull it forward, it releases it, it basically lines up the cutouts here in the ratchet mechanism. To put it back on, simply line up the tabs and you're going to have to compress the trigger again 
You have to pull it back. So once you have the helmet shield in there, okay, so it's traveling in its groove here, go ahead and grab the trigger and pull back. That ensures the shield will not come off. Let's repeat the process on the other side. Grab the trigger, pull it back, there you go. The liner on the SSR is fully removable. It's also made from their hydro dry material. It's a moisture wicking material. What that's going to do, it's going to move the moisture away from your head. And that's going to work to keep you cool and comfortable. It's going to dry basically twice as fast as a liner of a helmet that does not have a similar design. To remove the cheek pads, we have three snaps. One towards the top, one in the center, and one towards the rear. From there, pull your chin strap through the slot in the cheek pad. Go ahead and grab the front of the cheek pad now and just pull it out. It's got a big plastic tab that slides in between the EPS of the helmet and the outer shell. Mirror image on the other side. Three snaps. Pull your chin strap through, give it a tug, and there you go. It's a nice liner, very plush, very comfortable. The material feels wonderful against your head. For the top pad, let's go ahead and grab the back portion of the top pad. We have two snaps, and then up front, we have basically a molded plastic tab that slides in between the EPS and the helmet shell. Once again, the top pad is made from hydro dry. You can see the cutouts in it to allow the air flow of the helmet to come in through the top pad. Let's put that to the side. Let's give you a look at the EPS of the helmet. You can see the holes that have been drilled into it for airflow. And Jeff, if you try and tighten up on those vents here in the chin real quick too, can you get those at that angle? Okay, let's show you how to put the liner back in, and we'll be all set. This world spec standard is something we're pretty excited about here at Sport Bike Track Gear. We are, we're certainly big fans of safety and protection, and we think this is a great step in the right direction, without a question. To reinstall the top pad, let's go ahead and grab this plastic tab at the front. We're going to push that down in between the EPS and the helmet shell. Just kind of work it down in there. Easy to do. Push it in underneath the seal, like so. Come to the back. We have two snaps. Re-engage those. Let's grab our cheek pads. Begin by pulling the helmet strap through the slot in the cheek pad. Go ahead and grab this plastic tab that is attached to the cheek pad and go ahead and slide that between the EPS and the outer shell of the helmet. Push that down a little bit and then what I need you to do is look behind the cheek pad, locate one of the snaps and let's get that started. Go ahead and now grab this plastic tab and using your fingers like I am right now, just kind of force it down in between the EPS of the helmet and the outer shell. You'll notice this rubber seal needs to be pulled back on the outside of that. Kind of stick your finger under there, pull it through. Now let's go ahead and re-engage the last two snaps. I think Icon's really doing a great job with the helmets. Everything I notice about this Alliance SSR has improved. Right down to the snaps that they're using on the cheek pads. Mirror image of the other side. This is the Alliance SSR World Spec Helmet from Icon and SportbikeTrackGear.com.